before of the telecom stuff at the house. Um, this was all bricked up before and this condo was hidden in the wall. I guess the stone masons or whoever covered that up. Um, but the electrician's here, he's just waiting on the box. He's gonna put like an eight by eight junction box to get both conduits in and this in the back and then mount it to the wall. So uh, hopefully he gets that done soon. I have another one to do just down the road. So let's go do that one. Maybe this will be a two for one. Okay, um, working on a little conduit pull today. We have uh, just another job over there that you'll probably see a clip of the conduits aren't finished right now, but electricians are working on it. We have uh, everything ready to go here. We're just rotting it here. Tub is across the street. So yeah, should be pretty easy. And wait for the conduit to come out over here. Um, this is my third week back to this house here and the electricians haven't finished it. Um, but uh, hopefully they will today. I can hear it coming. It'll be here within five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh, still pretty far away. Oh my God, it came out in this. <laughs> it's inside the wrong box. Surprise, surprise. Ah, oh, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna go switch it up. Um, this is supposed to be our box and this came out into the coax box down on the road so now we're going to pull this out and push it through there okay now push it back in and uh, i think now we're clear there we are more sweet okay so now i understand that's good now I understand why there is a coax line going through this tub and up in this corner, which came to here, because they have the conduit switch. Oh man. Anyways, we're good to go. I'm going to set up the drop and the tracer and then pull it through. And tracer attached. Getting it pulled through now. I'm going to finally get to see my tracer spool in action. That's how it's designed to clamp on the edge of tubs. So smooth so far. Alrighty, see you guys at the house side. House side, and as we said earlier, the drop came through the cat TV side for some reason. I don't really know why. And the funny thing is that they actually pushed the drop for the coax through the fiber tub uh, instead of just going through their own conduit and switching over. Kind of funny, but anyways, so we have the drop through. I'm going to transition it through here right there and then loop it into this box and there's clear curve here so should be should be quick we have our drop plugged into port one tag and we have our coil with the tracer attached right there nice and neat ideally i'd like to mount this to the wall and stuff like that but not even the npt is mounted so anyways onwards heading to house down there I done we have the the drop and tracer passed over from the other box this is closed up and we have a drop here, clear curve is in, so it should be easy for the tech. Um, it's obviously not ideal because there's no loose raceway, but the clear curve is there, so we'll give a thumbs up for the electrician, nap and port, and she's done. Okay, back over at the other house, and we have everything taped up and ready to go. So, electrician's just finishing up the box here, looking good. Looking nice and neat here. Much better than what it was before. I can't believe that they just blocked over the, the conduit there. Like, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. The carpenters. No logic. Just, no. Was it the stone people or the carpenters? No, the carpenters. No. So there was just half inch plywood inside the house. Yeah. We brought our conduit out and then they had to replace that with three quarters pressure treated mm. for the rock. Yeah. So instead of cutting a hole through the new plywood, they just cut our pipe. Gotcha. Sloppy. <laughs> it looks like there's some stuff need to be put behind here too. Unless they're just going to leave that with vapor barrier or whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, run noise on a construction site, but this is the box finished, um, has it mounted, and uh, yeah, it's not like exactly up to like the telecom standard, but it definitely works, there's no issue with this, has a pass down to the mechanical room, and uh, he even put the string in for us, so all good to go, I'm gonna leave that there, and uh, finish the tub side. So drop is done, it's over to the box here, coming out of there with the tracer, we have a spool nice and neat, and then plugged into port 2 of MPT. So, yep, yeah, all good to go. This is a little, 
little two for one, but uh, finally after three weeks, we were able to get it done and we got both done at once. So drop that sub. I don't know if this footage will ever make the light of day, but um, this is a job that I've been working on since like November of last year. Um, pretty weird one. We have the top right here and we're going to that house over there with all that wood where that Tacoma is over there. And we have a break or a blockage in the conduit, or so I think, around where that sold sign is. I have it measured out. I've been here maybe three times. I've rented a power washer from Home Depot and I tried jetting out the conduit to see if I could get the, the line clear. I ended up getting the hose stuck. So that hose should still be in the conduit. There was another crew that came after me and I don't know what they did. So we're about to open the tub and see what happened. At the tub and there is the hose that's stuck in there we're trying to see if we can get it out right now but i don't have too much faith i'm gonna help you pull no it's uh i think your pipe might have actually concave out i think the ground is broken through the pipe that's what i think too feels like it that's exactly what yeah, that feels like it's a broken pipe. It's buried in. Yeah, so the I don't know why this guy's running a snow blower right now, but sorry for that background noise. Um, we measured out like that hose itself is about 30 plus feet. I had about I don't know 10 meters of uh, rotter in there before, and it looks like maybe someone came out and marked it. I'm not sure what, but they're gonna hydro vac out and uh expose the conduit and do a uh, like a point repair but i don't know i came back to see if i could maybe get it done i want to get my money out of it because i spent so much time here but very frustrating uh who knows a remeasurement of uh how deep it is and we're putting a, a piece of tape on it right now just to kind of mark but i'm sure it's about 10 meters and lay it out get a good marking Sorry for this stupid ass snow blower just running. But anyway, so we, there's the end of the rotter right there. I don't know if you can see it right here. So it's already kind of marked right here, but we're gonna give it a big X or whatever. I put a line maybe going back. Yeah. Oh, it's tough like over here. Oh, give it a V, I guess. Yeah. yeah, the break is somewhere in this area here, and uh, you're gonna have to come back and fix it. Hydro vac it, excavate it out. The other option is to tap into the main line further down by the house because there is another vault close to where that guy is down there. Um, yeah, kind of at a loss with this one. I guess you'll see this footage someday if we ever get this fixed. So stay tuned. So we're at this job site here uh, that I came in the winter and uh, logically what's going on doesn't make much sense and uh, we think that it comes to this collapsed tub. This is all the rubble and debris that we took out of it but we've happened to expose a couple conduits just down there. I'm going to go to the, actually you know what you go, go to the house side and just give it some like a, and pull on the string too, we'll see if the string moves. So he's going to go just to the house, just over there, right over there. And uh, I assume it's one of these conduits. But I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do the drop because of the condition of this tub. It needs to be redone altogether. Oh yeah, it's here for sure. I already see it. There it is. Yep. Look at that. Nice. Alrighty. Okay, so we finally got through and we're able to get the drop in. I was initially not going to run the drop because of the condition of the tub, but I realized that it's really just the upper ring, like the double decker kind of thing that is broken and the bottom is intact. So right now I have him currently working on getting the dirt out as much as he can. We have the rotter through, so I'm just going to prep the drop and uh, pull it through. And then I'm going to put a ticket in and send it off to a cable repair construction team Maybe they can come and repair it, but I gotta get my drop done, so it will be. We were getting jammed up on the string. 
Now we should be good. A couple more pulls. There we go. Look at that, all tangled up with the string. Well, we got it. Alrighty. This drop done. Uh, skipped a couple steps to show you guys, but drop is there with Tracer. And uh, they actually have clear curve here. There's two for some reason, but it's a single family home, so it might just be redundancy. But better than nothing, so sweet. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the tub side when I'm done there, but this has been kind of like a three for one. I'm going to try to make it three drop pulls in one. So, yeah, hope you enjoy it and uh, stay tuned for more. We're done. We have our drop coming through with Tracer and the MPT right there. The MPT tail from where the MPT is into the conduit is maybe two feet. There's no slot coil, nothing at all. Um, very sloppy work all around by whoever installed this and unfortunately I think there's dump trucks or something that go down this alley and they have collapsed this tub apparently this hydro vault was also broken and repaired this is all the dirt that we took off and this is all the, the debris and rubble so maybe this will pop one of the tires of the trucks and uh, they won't come this way again but yeah so it's all done left this uh, tub um, it's a pretty big safety risk but i'm going to be reporting it right away so it can get fixed i don't want any kids or anyone falling in here or anyone driving over and causing an accident we uh have it taped off with some fiber optic caution tape hopefully they deal with it soon thanks for watching tune in next time